beautiful signs, all of you beautiful people. Welcome to my bonus reading for uh, March 22nd to 28th. Definitely were some trends this week. Yes. Okay. Yeah. There's probably like 80% of you that had some similar messages. So, um, okay, let's see what cards come up and then I'm going to talk a lot, okay? Okay, that feels good. There it is. We are going to talk, there is some more of it. We are going to talk about money. We are going to, oh my God, honestly, my boob's so itchy. Oh my God, oh God, okay, that felt really good. Um, sorry about that. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about money. And it's weird that this, I mean, I shouldn't say it's weird. It's not weird that it came up, but, um, <clears throat> The fact that money came up so much for a lot of people and um, I actually posted about this on my Instagram page. Um, yeah, relationship with money. What is your relationship with money? We are really like we're going through a shift right now. We always seem to be going through a fucking shift, right? But there is something going on right now with money and it here's the thing money is energy it's a form of energy money is not the root of all evil it can definitely <clears throat> make people do shitty things uh but it doesn't have to be evil and you know what i like money i really do i like the things it can buy me and get me so um but i feel like I feel like people's relationships with money are a little fucked. So, um, like I said in my Instagram post, like, what is your relationship with money? Are you obsessed with money? Do you, uh, do you think, do you put like a lot of value on money when it comes to dating or, or, uh, friends or stuff like that? Oh, I'm getting really, whew, I'm moving the table. I'm getting really riled up here. Um, do you have a hard time accepting money? Do you have a hard time asking for money? I know for me, like I'm fucking guilty of this. And you know what? It doesn't end well for me ever. But when I do one-on-one -on -one readings, like I try to keep to that time limit. Like if someone only paid me for 30 minutes, I should be sticking to 30 minutes. But there's always like this weird guilt factor inside me, which is so fucking stupid. I mean, they paid for half an hour, they get half an hour. It's like um, if you're owning a business and you're constantly looking to um, discount and give people free stuff, like, um, and this isn't even a psychic thing. I mean, this even comes from my experience in sales. Like if you give good customer service and you back your product or whatever you're selling, you shouldn't be giving it away for free or for close to free. You know, the right people will come to you and the right people will seek your services. You have to trust in the universe. So um, then there's people that spend their money like before it's even there. Or there's people that hang on to money with their dear life and just like worry, worry, worry. But what these readings uh, and what my intuition is telling me is that everyone could use a little meditation on what like really what is your relationship like with money and where can you change it I mean so many people have these dreams of being rich or or when I hit it big or when this happens and you think your fucking life is gonna be amazing if 
you know, once you make it, once you have all this money, but that's not fucking true. If you're totally miserable right now, you're still going to be fucking miserable later. Trust me. And if you're shit with money now, you're going to fucking lose your money later. And I'm not trying to be mean, but um, this is something you got to think about. Ener money is energy. So you want that flow to be a positive flow. You want to, um, I don't know, like treat your money with respect. This is money that you've earned. Well, unless you fucking stole it. That's a whole other ball game. Then you've got other things to meditate on. But, um, yeah, and I feel like there's a lot of people out there that also, um, I think there's more people that feel undeserving of money than people that feel like they are owed every penny in the world. So for you fellow readers out there, like fucking stop giving your shit out for free. And for any of you new business owners or small business owners, don't give your shit out for free. You don't have to. So, anywho, um, let's see what else is going on here. Now that I'm done talking about that. But this is what this fucking video is for. It's my favorite video because, like, I don't know. I can just, like, be me and whatever. Not that I'm not me in the other videos, but... um. This is where I get to talk about some of the stuff that has come up for a lot of people. So, um, I'm going to pull a few more cards here. And here's the thing too. When I talk about opportunity when it comes to money or career, um, the, this, this whole exercise about reevaluating your relationship with money is important because if there is opportunity you want to make sure you can sustain it you know what I mean like it's not just going to be a constant flow of money just forever just because like you have to sustain it and there's work for you to do like let's not think about sure there's like a few people out there that fucking win the lottery okay sure but like come on we're not those people, honestly, have probably, this is my take on those people, by the way, the people that win the lottery, some of them I feel like have had like a bunch of real shitty past lives. And when they came in for this life, they're like, you know what, I'm having an easy one this time. I'm going in there, I'm just doing whatever, being average, and I'm going to win the fucking lottery. And I, I fuck, that's what I'm going to do. And you know what, good for them good for them you just never know and that's how my brain works I'm always thinking weird shit like that like oh you know they probably had a shitty past life so that good for them anyways um there is really there is really also a lot of um changes this week which have to do with getting out of situations where you feel trapped and, like, I don't mean this in, like, a crazy fucking Netflix series way. I mean this in, like, an emotional way. There's a lot of people uh, or a lot of the readings I touched on um, getting out of toxic relationships. And this doesn't just mean a love relationship. A relationship can be a friendship, a familial relationship. It could be even a relationship with your job or maybe shitty work relationships it can be so much but there is like there are lessons being learned right now and there are certain things going on in your life that feel very uncomfortable and unstable but it's because they're there so you can level up it's like a big old fucking test from the universe and the universe is like Kate, okay, let's see what you're gonna do and let's see if you're gonna level up um just always work for your highest good. And if you are lost, like talk to your angels, talk to your guides. I know that sounds crazy, but no, it doesn't. If you're watching this fucking reading, you know that shit ain't crazy. Um, no, but do a meditation. This is one of my favorite ones. Like um, just uh, find some nice music that will chill you out or maybe just sit outside, whatever you want. And like take like 10 good breaths where you're not 
fucking thinking about everything going on in your life and in your mind's eye, go to your happy place, whether that's a meadow, the mountains, your grandma's house, whatever. Go to your happy place, sit on a bench and just like enjoy that you're in your happy place and see who comes to meet you. It's fucked what will come up. You, it, honestly, I've had old pets come up that I haven't thought about. My grandparents, some lady, I had no idea who she was. But that, those are your guides. So, and just see what they have to say. And it is a process. Like, no, it's not like this magical experience where, and I think that's where people don't know. Like, they think it's this insane, like, you're in a trance state. And, oh, my God. Like, sometimes you even feel like you're making shit up. I'll be honest with you. You'll feel like you're just making shit up, but do it a few times and you'll see like random shit will pop, pop up that you, you're like, I was, I would never think this. So, but see what your guides have to say. They're there. They're there to help you. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I mean, this is 11 minutes already. So this is getting long and I'm sure you don't want to hear me talk about weird shit, but um time to level up guys so think about your relationship with money and in the week to come ask your guides for help if you need help or get a reading from me too there there's another option um but everyone be good be safe subscribe to my channel tell your friends to subscribe to my channel like every single one of my fucking videos and i'll see you next week so you guys are beautiful. Don't forget that. Bye for now.